Hi guys, I'm Chef Jonathan Gardner, AKA Chef JT. I am the owner and creator of Crazy Comforts. And I'm here teaming up with my family, Spitting Image Network, and we're doing a cooking demonstration for you guys today. I'm with Spitting Image Network, and we're doing a kit cooking demonstration for you guys today. <laughs> for creme blanche, like burnt cream? Yeah, I'll take a burnt cream, because you are going to, once it's all completed, you're going to take sugar on top, take a torch off. Oh, as chefs, we love fire. So burn that sugar right on top and it's a beautiful thing. But today we're not doing a classic vanilla, we're gonna do a coffee with Cafe Mustin. Mustinos, sorry. All right, let's get started. Ingredients for this recipe is six egg yolks, cup and a half of heavy cream, half a cup of sugar, then you have a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of coffee or espresso. And then you have a whole teaspoon of vanilla extract. First, I'll start by putting your sugar and your eggs together. Mix that together and mix it. Next step is to take your heavy cream and get it boiling on the stove. You want about a medium, medium high heat for this. You don't want to burn the bottom of your pot. So most times when you're working with any like dairy products, anything that already have a high sugar element, especially with dairy, you want to just make sure you give it a quick stir because you don't want to burn at the bottom of the pot. Burnt is no, it's no good. Even though there's a burnt cream dish, you don't want that burnt taste into your. So I'm just giving it a quick stir, make sure there's nothing sticking at the bottom. Nothing. If all I am using a non-stick pan, I just don't want that burnt feeling, you know. All right. Any uh, good, any baked custard dish, you want to do something that's called tempering your eggs. That's simply just taking a little bit of your heat to cream, heat to cream mixture, and pouring it. Pour it in with your egg mixture so you're not cooking the eggs. You don't want to cook the eggs to make scrambled eggs. You just want to cook them to make your custard dish. Just pour them a little bit, get them up from that cold room temperature to about the same heat of the heavy cream. So you usually use a ladle, or if you're at home, just pour it right in the pot. You just, you just need about Couple, cup and a half of your heavy cream. It also gives the sugar a chance to dissolve. So, so once you get that all mixed in together, take the pot back to the stove. Once again, we're sitting at that uh, medium temperature. You wanna just take our egg mixture now and mix it in with our cream. It's gonna keep for about another five minutes. You want what's called nappe. No, not like your hair, my hair, not nappy, nappe. This is where you can take the back of the spatula or a spoon, and you roll your finger through it, and it leaves the imprint of where you stroke. So, nappe, N A P P E. So, Crazy Comforts, why that name? Um, I chose that name because I was always a person interested in not eating the same thing over and over again. So when I made leftovers, I'll eat it for a day or two. I'm like, all right, what's next? Or I'll take the leftovers and do something different with it. It's always fun that way for me. I like having um, some fun. I mean, a lot of fun. It's just, you gotta make sure, keep things fresh, new, and interesting. <laughs> So when I chose Crazy Comforts, I was sitting there, I was talking to my late aunt, uh, we love her, Gloria. And so um, I was like, Crazy Comforts, because we were just, we like to eat different crazy snacks and things like that. And so um, when people ask me, what is Crazy Comforts? I say, it's a twist on, a new twist on comfort food. So we take the things that you're most comfortable with and that are from your home and from your childhood, and we turn a nice twist on it. So an example I give is um, grilled cheese. So I said, okay, we'll take grilled cheese and we'll take it to a bar, essentially. So we're not just doing two slices of white bread with, um, with American cheese. No, we're gonna take 
let's say flat bread, uh, quesadilla, I mean, no, I'm sorry, let's take flat bread. We'll take flat bread and uh, we'll do uh, some blue cheese, we'll do some buffalo chicken, we'll do a little bit of spinach on the inside, smash it together, grill it like it's a grilled cheese, then you essentially have a new twist on comfort, a comfort food that you never really thought of. So, once we get to this point, we are now going to add in our coffee and our salt. Oh, that smells beautiful. And then we're gonna add in our vanilla. A little extra piece of vanilla, oh man. That looks like Oreos to me. Make sure it's all well incorporated. Now what we're gonna do is, we'll just take our strainer and our pour. I'm gonna use the, the uh, pitcher to help me pour into the ramekins evenly. Make sure they're there. Now the reason I'm using my strainer is to help to get any of the lumps or anything that I miss while stirring out of there. I also use my big belly to help me hold the strainer. Because, you know, mama fed me a lot and I love to eat. I've always been told nobody likes a skinny chef, so. Everything that will go through because it's all profit. But Mr. Krabs says money, 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 money. It's all about the money, you know? That's everything. No, here we go. You don't want to fill it all the way up because you still want to have space for your sugar. Um, yeah, your sugar that's going on. Every bit counts. All right. And you just, all you're doing is just taking some water and just bring it right about the halfway line up the side of the dish to help it cook evenly and nice and steady. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we'll put it in a 300 degree oven for about hour, hour to a half, maybe even two hours. We just wanted to see jiggle a little bit, just like jello. All right, so I'll see you later. All right, it's been our hour to hour and a half. Now, timer's going off. Pull it out and see what we're working with. So like I said earlier, how you know it's done, the gel, the jello jig, all right? So you just shake it, shake it like jello. Beautiful. So. Yeah. Really? 
specifically will we? Now I want to actually let this cool a little bit. The reason they call it burnt cream. So what you do is you'll take a little bit of sugar, dump it right on top and you can do take the glass, the ramekin, shake it around. And just use the same sugar on each one of your molds. Add more sugar if you need it. If you don't have a torch uh, or don't want to use a torch just for safety reason and kids re kit reason, probably just leave it in the boiler for about a minute, 30 seconds. You, you want to pay attention to it and you, you actually, I can hear the sugars crystallizing and bubbling in there. The quick peek. Are you really gonna put the coffee on there? Oh, who needs garnishes when you got that? So beautiful. It tastes like it went from my mouth. Yeah, don't stare. 